let me show you how easy to make registered, trademark, and copyright symbols in Microsoft Excel. First, let's see the definition. The registered trademark symbol is a typographic symbol that provides notice that the preceding word or symbol is a trademark or service mark that has been registered with a national trademark office. The trademark symbol is a symbol to indicate that the preceding mark is a trademark, specifically an unregistered trademark. It complements the registered trademark symbol which is reserved for trademarks registered with an appropriate government agency. The copyright symbol, or copyright sign, is the symbol used in copyright notices for works other than sound recordings. The use of the symbol is described by the Universal Copyright Convention. Now, to create a registered symbol as shown on B3 cell. Type a brand name. For example, my brand. And then type, in brackets, our letter. You can type in lowercase or uppercase, it's the same. After we press enter, it will automatically change to a registered symbol. For a trademark symbol, type a brand name. Type, in brackets, T and M letters. After we press enter, it will automatically change to a trademark symbol. For a copyright symbol, usually begins with the copyright text. Then press spacebar. Type in brackets, C letter. After we press spacebar again, it will turn into a copyright symbol. Then proceed by typing the year, for example from 2000 to 2021. After that it ends with the name of the company, for example, My Company Corporation. How does Excel do that? Excel has auto-correct options feature. You can use it to correct typos, capitalization errors, and misspelled words, as well as automatically insert symbols and other pieces of text. By default, autocorrect uses a standard list of typical misspellings and symbols, but you can modify the entries in this list. To open auto-correct options, click File, click Options. In Excel Options window, find and click Proofing. Click Auto Correct Options. Basically, Excel will replace the old text in the list with predefined text. We can add other texts that are not in the list as needed. We can even make abbreviations of a long text. For example, I will change the text title 1 to Annual Report 2020. Click Add. And then, Title II become My Company Corporation. Click Add. 
click OK. And click OK one more time to close Excel options. So, when we type Title 1 and Title 2 in any cell, it will change to the text that we have specified. We can save time when there are a lot of long texts that often appear when working with Excel, such as report titles and company names. The auto-correct options feature is linked in the Office application, so when we add new texts, they can also be found in Word, PowerPoint, and other Office applications. That's the end of this video. We'll meet again in another video. Thank you for watching.